Whenever you're starting on your research article, you need to focus on a story. If you just sit down and try to write a research article without knowing really where you're going with it or what your story is or even what your data is telling you, you're not going to write a very good research article, but it's also going to take you a lot more time and be a lot more difficult because you don't even know where you're going. So to get started, first create your story. And one of the ways I like to create my story is creating the visuals that are going to be in my article. This includes things like the figure you're going to have and the different tables you're going to have. Once you have your visuals, you can present your story verbally and then all you have to do is take your story that you've already worked out by presenting it and go ahead and write it down and that's going to make the writing process a lot faster. Once you have your story, if you want to convert that story into a written manuscript faster, the best way to do that is to have a system for writing. So if you just try and sit down at a computer and try and start writing your article, you're just typically staring at a blank document. You might write a sentence and then delete it and write a sentence again. And that's not really going to be super helpful for moving you forward. But when you have a system and you know what you're writing where, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to be able to write more quickly and more effectively. I developed my system after writing several different research articles and the first ones took me so much longer than my last ones where I was able to write a research article in only a few hours. I teach my system through a lot of different ways. The first way is through YouTube videos like these. I even have a playlist, how to write a scientific research paper that I will leave down below. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can download my scientific research paper checklist. It's a free PDF download that you can get and it literally walks you through my system and what you need to be focused on where and the different things you need to do to get your paper published. Now, if you want to go even further, I do have two paid products. If you want even more help implementing the system and really making it just feel like you're answering worksheets. The first one is my research article workbook. And this is a workbook that literally you will write your entire research article just by following the prompts within the workbook. So it really makes it really simple to create that system. And the second one is my write your research article course. This is a good way if you need more than just prompts, you need examples, you need someone to to explain every step of the process, then I would suggest checking out that course. But even if you don't use one of my systems, you need to develop a system of your own. So whether you pull that together through a several different YouTube videos that you watch, whether you pull that together through struggling through writing your first several articles, eventually you'll need to develop a system that will allow you to write research articles faster. Before you get started actually writing your research article, one thing you're going to want to make sure you have is a reference manager. Spending a lot Lot of time manually adding in your own citations, having to change your citation format, or even moving your citations around and editing your bibliography is going to take a lot more time than using something like a reference manager. I recommend Zotero. It's a free reference manager, but there are also paid reference managers like EndNote, other free reference managers like Mendeley. And you can use whichever one works best for you. Almost all of them have plugins into Google Docs and Word, so you can easily be able to sit there and write and then cite your research articles while you're writing. I think this is one of the key technology pieces that can really make writing your research article a lot faster. Once you dive into writing your research article, the one thing you want to focus on is being concise in your research article. If you feel the need to go look for every single literature that's ever been done on this topic to try and create a whole synopsis to show that you know the field really well to write in your introduction, you're going to take a lot longer and your research article isn't going to be as good because nobody reads a research article to read a literature review. You don't need to have every single piece of research that's ever been done on this topic somewhere mentioned in your research article. So instead, go back to your story and make sure that you're being concise and sharing with the reader what they actually need to know to understand the results you're creating. You're not trying to show what you know, but instead trying to share what you've learned through the research process. One of the ways to write a lot faster is to use AI when you get stuck. 
So this isn't about having AI write your research article for you. I don't think that's going to pan out well in the long run because the amount of editing you're going to have to do, if you have a system, you would write faster than you would edit an AI written research article. But you can use AI when you're getting stuck. So whether you're using something like ChatGPT or an AI writer like Yomu AI, Jenny AI, or PaperPal, what this gives you is when you are writing something and you don't really know where to go next, or you don't know how to make a transition sentence between two paragraphs or things like that, you can ask AI to give you options and then write it in your own words. This is going to be better than writing some of your research article and then stop writing it because you don't know what to say next versus using AI to your benefit to allow you to generate those new ideas. Whenever you're using AI, you need to follow whatever rules and regulations are set by the journals you wanna to submit to. If a journal says you can't have any AI generated text, you need to make sure that you're following that, whether it's passing AI detection or not. But you can still use AI without including AI generated text. You can use AI to develop ideas and to get past writer's block and even to edit your articles or help you figure out ways to make it sound more professional without directly including AI generated text within your article. The final component of writing a research article faster is to not be scared of peer review. I've worked with a lot of people who will hold off and over edit their article because they're scared they're going to get negative comments back in peer review. What if someone says I missed an article that they wrote and I didn't include it? Obviously, if it's a major article that was leading to that research, it needs to be included. But it's understandable if you don't include every single citation that exists within this field in your research paper. And it's probably preferable that you don't. You're never going to get a like overwhelmingly positive, no negative comment review. Even if you get accepted, someone's going to have a comment that is critiquing your article. And that's good. The whole point of it is to make your articles better and better. So you don't need to constantly be afraid of peer review and over edit or write really long research articles because you think you're going to answer all the questions that are going to come up in peer review because you're not. If anything, you're going to get the comment back that this is not well written or it's overly long or it needs to be more concise. So write the story that you're trying to write and then in allow peer review to do its job and give you feedback on that. And then you can implement that feedback to make it even better instead of rewriting and overwriting or over editing your article so that you can try to avoid a negative peer review. You will need to submit your research article before you really feel ready to submit your research article because the fact is you're never really going to feel completely ready and think that this is some amazing article. And if you ever do, you've taken way, way longer than you needed to, to be able to get that article because the whole point of writing that article isn't to flatter your ego, isn't even to get it on the CV. Be. The whole point of writing that research article really should be helping other people understand the research you've done to move your research field forward. And so if you have that in mind and you focus on that throughout the entire writing process, you're going to write a better article and you're likely going to write it faster. Thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.